Jack Wagner is giving us a sneak peek into the big wedding on When Calls the Heart. Oh, oh, it started as a hobby, and then it <laughs> catapulted our next guest into this amazing adventure of a lifetime. Please welcome Underwater Dogs creator and Finding Fido host, Seth Castillo, along with Larissa, our pet rescue expert. These photos, I saw them immediately, and as a photographer, I'm like, oh my God, I want to try that. And then I failed miserably. <laughs> you did it, and you became an overnight sensation with these. Yeah. Tell I, us how that happened. I surround myself with talented and good-looking dogs. That's, my <laughs> That's it. That's my secret. That's well, it. I grew up with a dog named Duchess, a little miniature dachshund, who wasn't really swimming or diving, but she definitely gets credit for inspiring my passion for dogs. So yeah. she lived to be almost 17 years old. Her favorite activity was to bop a balloon up in the air and juggle it. She could do it 100 times. Aww. I don't know why she liked the balloon so much, but she just <laughs> yes, loved it. she did it. Yep. And then fast forward for a while, I was working at a movie studio, and some friends of mine were taking care of these community cats. They were living on the studio a lot, and then they would come across some little baby kittens. And they were overwhelmed. My friends were overwhelmed. They had too many cats at home. Oh. And so I offered to take some pictures of these kittens. So we snuck them into this executive's office when they're out for lunch. <laughs> they were clawing around on the furniture and took some snapshots. We sent them out through the studio network on email, which I don't think we were supposed to do. <laughs> but, but we did it, and they all got adopted. I thought, that is so cool. So I started volunteering at the local animal shelters right here in Los Angeles, and then shelters all around the country, and then all around the world. Uh, around the same time, I adopted my first dog of my own named Nala, oh. who I got her little tattoo right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> but she's a poodle mix. There she is. Uh, right oh, my goodness. Yeah, there she is. <gasps> yeah. So wow. I adopted her in 2007. Nala and who? Uh, just, just Nala. Oh, just Nala. Nala. Yeah, okay. Nala and Sometimes I call her baby yeah. Nala. And yeah, baby people, Nala. People are weirded out about that. Was she, <laughs> did she like the diving? She more, I, I'm going to sit on the couch kind of dog. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but I started, uh, I continued with my volunteer work, and then I started doing commissions as a pet photographer. And one of my very first clients was a dog named Buster, who's right here on my arm, who's a Cavalier <laughs> okay, King Charles Spaniel. Okay, that's where the Spaniel. other dog came in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Aww. So we did a land photo shoot, and uh, he decided he would rather be in the swimming pool. This is down in Orange County a few years ago, and he started jumping in to the swimming pool, and I didn't even have to do anything. He was just jumping in, chasing his favorite tennis ball. Yeah, these are the very first shots I ever did right here. Wow. Yeah, and I had a little point-and-shoot, hot pink, point-and-shoot underwater camera I went out and bought. Was the hot the pink important? Store. Yeah. It's the only one they had, but I, I thought it was pretty cool. Look at that, those And eyes. so the pictures turned out, and I was just so amazed by what was yeah. going on and just the, the pure... You know, emotion joy of the dogs and see. the joy. Yeah. And I was just along for the ride. People say, underwater dogs, it's a great idea. How'd you come up with it? I say, it wasn't even my idea. It was a dog's idea. <laughs> <laughs> and they have the best ideas sometimes. They do. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> um, so, I, Larissa, I know that you share this passion course, for rescuing course, dogs. Of yeah. yes. within. And so how did, the, how did this connection Well, so he, he also, you know, I know you were glossing over it, but he takes amazing photos of animals in the shelters, which we've talked about before, mm -hmm. just makes so the world important. of difference. Like, look at this. Mm -hmm. As an example, a before and after, once Seth got his hands on, on this, little girl and took some photos and then all live over there look at the difference and and it just makes such an impact and it's something so simple obviously Seth is very yeah. good at it um, and then that led him to this show called Finding Fido where he matches people looking for dogs with rescue dogs looking for people and he oh just finds gosh. the perfect fit so and it's sweet. so important how important is it getting the perfect fit oh it's super important I mean talk you, about that you could end up with a dog that's not going to be right for you, and you're not going to be right for the dog, and then the dog ends up back at the shelter again. So what sure. the show is all about is helping people understand what kind of dog is right for you and your family, your lifestyle, your home environment, and that's what we do every episode is I meet a family mm -hmm. that has decided to adopt a dog, which I'll say right now, if you do that, you're my friends because so many dogs and cats yeah. need homes. The fact that you're signing up for that is terrific. So I get to know you. We hang out. Learn about your situation and figure out what is really going to be a good match for you. I go out, meet hundreds and hundreds of dogs. I present you with three potential matches. You're a dog matchmaker. I'm a dog yeah. matchmaker. Yeah. You go yeah. on some doggy play dates, three doggy play dates, do some really fun activities, and hopefully through the course of spending a couple of days with these dogs, you'll find a match. A little one-on-one on one date. Yeah. 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 Sounds very it. familiar. I like to say. I know. I, I think like you should say, say, will you accept this bone? <laughs> <laughs> the end of the... Well, I, I like to say the show is kind of a combination of house hunters meets the bachelorette, but there's dogs and there's no sobbing at the end. 
I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> we, we have a clip. This is it's important that they sniff out the right human for them, and I truly mean sniff out because they have amazing senses and for for human emotions and whatnot. So this is a man that's suffering from anxiety, mm -hmm. and you're trying to find the right dog, right, to match up. Take a look. We need to find out just how finely tuned Charlie Bucket's sense of smell is. Charlie, you ready? Okay, here we go. Woo! Right. <laughs> Let me bear it a little bit. Come on, Charlie, bring him on over. Charlie! Get in here, go on. find the bug. Get your Come ball. on in. There is the ball. <laughs> find it, bud. Get it, get it, Charlie. Get it. Where is it? Look for it. <laughs> He's knocking all the balls out of the ball pit. He's going nuts. Yeah. He is. Find it, bud. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, look for it. Definitely find smells it. it. Is that the ball? <laughs> Oh, he's got it! Oh, wow. Yeah, that was so know. quick. I know. <laughs> that really went to show, just through his sense of smell, Charlie is going to be great for helping us um, identify our moods and, and calm and relax us. That's wonderful. Wow. Like, yeah. the dog sense so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, know? that particular dog, we're looking for that dog's sense of smell. Is it going to be powerful enough to really help Brian here, who suffers from insomnia and extreme anxiety? Dogs can detect a range of emotions that we have, mm. and if that dog can pick out that ball out of that pile of balls, that dog might be able to detect when he's really having a tough time. So yeah. it's a little test we set up, but I just love the show so much because we're finding new ways that dogs can make us better as human beings. Yeah. And I'm just so happy to be a part of that. It's really cool. Well, we're happy to have you be a part of yes. this show and all the work that Larissa does. We share a common love for animals, and you're right there with us. Thank you so much. Thank you do so amazing work. So By the way, catch uh, Finding Fido's second season premiere at Sunday, March 18th. Information on the bottom of your screen. You can also see all of his underwater and above water books <laughs> by going to <laughs> SethCastile.com. I love your work. Yes. I am a huge <laughs> admirer. I know. Me huge too. Admirer. Thank you, Seth. And coming up, wow. Orly has a special DIY just in time for Easter. You are not going to want to go anywhere because I have a genius trick that's going to allow you to make your very own one-of-a-kind matching mommy-daughter Easter sweaters. Come on back.